Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Chips play an increasingly important role in the development of modern science and technology and have been hailed as the food of modern industry. Therefore, in order to obstruct China's high-tech development, the United States has intensified its efforts in recent years and tried every means to obstruct China's chip development. However, Greater China has never been afraid of suppression, and the more it suppresses, the faster it progresses. Huawei is a typical exception. Recently, news came that after the return of Kirin 9000S last year, Huawei's chips have been upgraded again, which is unstoppable. Everyone should know that at the end of August last year, during the visit of U.S. Commerce Secretary Raimondo to China, Huawei's Mate 60 series mobile phones were quietly launched without even holding a press conference. The focus was on being equipped with the self-developed Kirin 9000S chip. At that time, this situation quickly attracted global attention. Many media jointly conducted disassembly tests with disassembly agencies. The results showed that the Kirin 9000S chip equipped with Huawei mobile phones was produced using a 7 nanometers process and was determined to be produced by the mainland chip industry. This directly left Raimondo speechless because the U.S. Department of Commerce is an important department in the United States that directly implements chip sanctions. In recent years, especially after Huawei became the world leader in 5G, the United States has imposed multiple rounds of strict sanctions on it. The focus is on the blockade of chips. First, Qualcomm, Intel and other U.S. companies directly cut off the supply of high-end series chips such as 5G. Although Qualcomm and Intel fought hard and later applied for some shipment licenses, they were only for 4G and other chips. What's more serious is that the United States asked TSMC to stop the foundry of high-end chips such as Kirin which directly put Huawei into a situation where there are no high-end chips available, because Huawei is mainly engaged in chip design and the foundry is handed over to TSMC. The chip blockade implemented by the United States has not been relaxed yet and is even increasing. It used to mainly target companies, but now it targets China's entire chip industry. It has also joined forces with its allies in Japan and the Netherlands to jointly restrict advanced semiconductor equipment. The purpose of the United States is not only to prevent Chinese wafer factories such as SMIC from manufacturing chips for Huawei, because they still use other people's equipment, but also to prevent Chinese wafer factories from producing high-end chips and completely hinder China's high-tech development. For example, restricting the shipment of ASML high-end lithography machines to Chinese companies will prevent SMIC from manufacturing high-end series chips. Under such circumstances, it is extremely difficult for Huawei to solve the chip problem because the United States is closely focused on the export of advanced equipment. However, Huawei did not compromise and continued to work quietly. It took just over three years to realize the self-developed Kirin. Return This was unexpected by both TSMC and Qualcomm. Zhong Zhongmo also said that mainland China's chip manufacturing level was at least five years behind TSMC. 
But what they didn't expect was that under such a strict blockade, Huawei's Kirin chips would come out. Qualcomm was even more surprised. It could have shipped 4G Snapdragon chips to Huawei, but now it seems that Huawei no longer needs them. The key is, what makes them even more unexpected is that Huawei's Kirin chips have been back for so long and have done such a good job of keeping secrets that no one can figure out who produced the self-developed Kirin chips. Now the United States can only rely on guesswork. Let's talk. Some US media also stated that Huawei's self-developed Kirin chips have limited production capacity and a low yield rate, so the production time will not be very long. Unexpectedly, Huawei's latest flagship mobile phone Pura 70 has been quietly launched again recently, and it also brings a new self-developed Kirin chip. It is understood that Huawei's chips have been upgraded and iterated. This time it is the Kirin 9010 chip, and the manufacturing process has reached 5 nanometers. Relevant tests show that Kirin 9010 has made a lot of progress compared to the previous Kirin 9000S, with a single-core increase of 8.5% and a multi-core increase of 6.3%. In terms of running scores, it is close to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus level, which is close to 4 nanometers performance. You know, under the strict chip blockade in the United States, Huawei's Kirin chips can still achieve iterative upgrades, which is quite not easy. This is not only a breakthrough for Huawei's chips, but also represents the progress of mainland China's domestic chip industry chain. No wonder the British media Financial Times reported some time ago that mainland China may mass-produce 5 nanometers this year. It seems that it is not groundless. From the return of the self-developed Kirin 9000S chip at the end of August last year to the current upgrade and iteration of the Kirin 9010 chip, Huawei has only spent more than half a year. The key point is that not only the upgrade and iteration is successful, but the production capacity is also guaranteed and there are surprises ahead. In this regard, some foreign media directly stated that the United States cannot stop it at all, and chip restrictions will only fail. Instead, it will become an accelerator for China's chip progress. The United States should also understand that the restrictions only want to slow down China's chip speed but this also failed.